So a lot of this work is about establishing discipline, uh, removing bad habits, developing good habits, uh, self-control, self-management. But an, but an important part of this self-management is to know when to take a break. People that train themselves uh, with discipline, well, they typically know this too well. Uh, we take too many breaks. Uh, we're too ready to take a break. Um, we've really been trained to the idea that, you know, what you feel like doing, you should do. And if you feel like a break, then it's time for a break. So we're typically overtrained in the idea of being ready to take a break at any time. So when we start to develop discipline, good habits, work on self-development, um, it's quite uh, normal to really avoid that to because in those in those early steps of self-development, early steps when we're just starting to rein in our habits, develop self-control, we get that feeling all the time. Hey, I want to break now. I want to break now. Stop, stop, stop. Take a break now. And we have to train ourselves to ignore that signal and say, ah, you know, I know that I want to take a break now, uh, but I'm not finished yet. Uh, so I am not going to take a break until I finish my good action, my finish my workout, finish my chore, finish my work. So we train ourselves to be able to resist and delay that call uh, to take a break. But sometimes, I mean, there are times when we really do need a break, uh, where it's not about uh, something that, oh, we can just, you know, mindset our way through it and, you know, just decide that we're going to keep going and will our way through. Sometimes we really do need a rest. If we don't, if we still don't take a break then, then we are in danger of cracking, burning out, wearing ourselves down to the point where maybe we get sick, maybe we give up. So it's a balance, as so many things are, it's a tricky balance between how much am I going to push myself and how much am I going to let myself rest and recover. If we go too far in the pushing, we do damage to ourselves, we could lead to burning out and breaking our program, giving up entirely, going back into bad habits. And if we don't push ourselves enough, then we will not achieve what we can. And we'll sort of be the sort of stuck in a place where we could be developing ourselves beyond. So there's, of course, no answer, no automatic answer to this. It is a balance. I find that 
when I'm first developing a good habit, I'm first starting to do something that I have resistance to that I feel like stopping, but I make myself do anyway. When I'm first starting, then I have to push through that feeling of wanting to stop no matter what. And barring something like a serious injury or emergency that would prevent a habit, uh, I will commit to doing it. And then once it's sort of, once I feel that that habit has caught on some way, uh, been locked in to some degree, then I am able to let myself sometimes not do it. Although <laughs> even saying that, you know, that's of course a very slippery slope to say, oh, this habit is all baked in now, so I don't have to do it and it'll be fine. Easy for that to slide downwards and eventually losing the habit. But once it becomes sort of caught on as something normal uh, that I do now, uh, then it, it becomes, I, I have the option of, if I need that break, I can take the break. So this is what I did with exercising. When I first started exercising again a few years ago, I would exercise every day. Uh, I had, no matter what, made it every day. I tried doing it every other day, but I had a hard time. Uh, you know, I, I found that on the rest day, I was like, oh, maybe I could do it. Uh, I was still kind of into it. But the day after the rest day, when it was time to get back into it, I felt a great resistance to really just not wanting to put myself through that. But doing it every day for several months just made it kind of bake in to what, to what I considered to be normal to the point where I wasn't comfortable just not exercising anymore. So then I was able to moderate things down to having rest days again. I really consider there to be two good reasons to break or to, to get to take a break in a habit. And the one is to rest when we simply need time to recover and we just have to let ourselves have rest. And the other is when some kind of unexpected activity presents itself that really we consider to be genuine living, to be true living, uh, an experience that is worth seizing and therefore might have to miss the routine. So, for example, if I have a program to exercise on a certain day, but I get a chance to go on some kind of a trip, um, some kind of an adventure that takes up the whole day, and maybe I won't have a time to do the workout. Although it really has to be full day uh, to not have any chance to do a workout, because you, you can always squeeze it in early or late. Um, but if it really is taking the full day, then, you know, are you going to stay home from that great adventure because you don't want to miss your workout? No. Uh, and it's even more clear as an example with if we have the habit of setting our bedtimes and awaking times, if we have a bedtime habit, uh, but there is a valuable event that is happening in the evening that we feel would add to our lives, then let's break it. Break that bedtime and have the experience. Because these habits are here to serve 
us. We're not there to serve them. They are here to be our standard operating procedures in order to build the best lives we can. But when unexpected things happen, either good things like experiences offering themselves, could be uh, emergencies we have to attend to, or simply uh, the cry of fatigue and the need for rest coming from ourselves, from our bodies, from our minds, from our hearts, then we can be flexible we can break the discipline knowing that we will go back to it. And that's the real challenge. That's the time when we get the challenge is that day back when you've had a lapse in the habit and you're going back to it on the next day. It just has that extra inertia, that extra feeling of sluggishness of, I don't want to do this. And if you can get yourself back into that routine after the break, then you know that you are really building it in strongly into your life. So this is the balance of strictness and flexibility that is a dynamic forever.